The homie Wack 100 speaks on the situation. You feel me? That's going on out here. The streets is looking crazy. Wack 100 talks about Ray J situation, a heated exchange with not really Ray J, but it was Ray J and his crew, and they were drunk at the BET party. Shout out to Shig Smooth youtube channel but also i want y'all to go follow 100 ent go salute and support them right now but just the fact that we're hearing this and we a lot of things are making sense even the versus battle with omarion whack whack 100 explaining ray j situation explains a lot you know what i mean ray j was wilding out on the liquor apparently but i ain't here to judge man we just enjoying this entertainment thing y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment sections like share and subscribe to the i smoke hip-hop live you know platform this is dj bless one speaking to y'all man let me fall back and play that fbg duck intro FBG shit. because i see these niggas get drunker and drunker and drunker you know what I'm saying? I'm like, look, bro, I'm over here in my space. You come over here playing, you gonna get played with immediately. And then they go to playing. I see one throwing up gang signs, shirt raised up, pistol in his waistband. I said, so when the lady crossed the street right there, call the police and point him out. He ain't gonna know what happened. This is why I don't even like being around these dumbasses. I'm used to moving, moving right. Like, what is he doing? Like, on oh, some real shit. Like, this shit is crazy. It's moving everybody out. It's BET weekend. There's no all kind of shit is out. Just be. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Moving mess. Hey, this is why I their, laugh at a lot of niggas. You can't keep their head about. on a swivel if you drunk. Nope. Yeah, this is why I be laughing at a lot. They be talking that shit with me in these streets. You better not have no habits. You better not have no weakness towards a female. You better not have none of that. Because if you do, you not going to win with me at all. I'm going to wait and wait. And when you're at your most vulnerable point, I'm coming. Because this shit, I'm like, looking at you. I'm like, bro, if I was a jacker, I'd have hit for like 500 last night. Woo! And I, that's why I tell these other, like, you look, ain't no hustlers, y'all talking about y'all outside and y'all with that shit. Oh, look at all these Vicks. He's running around, loaded, stumbling down the street. Don't know where they park. Ask me, you know where I park my car at, big homie? Boy, boy, lunch. I, I said, yeah, right over there in that yep, hotel. Yep, right over here. I told him right over there in that hotel. And I told him, I want to see he stumbled right over there. I said, what if I'd have been on some bullshit? I don't know. I don't say, know yeah, that. give me your keys. I go get them yep. for you. <laughs> See, that's why they can't have that B B T shit in Chicago. They got road. Oh, bro, no, they out here on some, on some crazy shit. I told them I ain't going to nothing. You got a black tie party? I, I might come fuck with that. I ain't fucking with because I know me. I'm sober. Nigga, get to playing and doing some weird shit. Listen, they ain't going to understand why they got socked out. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Real you know me, I, you know me, you know, we socking out old niggas. We keep a motherfucking blade on us we are, and everything else. Like, niggas don't even realize, like, <laughs> they don't. yeah, last night I told Ray J, I said, bro, let's get up out of here, bro. Whack, one more. I was over there to the area. I told him, let's get up out of here. Cool, come over to getting loud. I said, hey, homie, we ain't doing that over here, bro. Nigga, how you gonna mush that nigga in his face so hard? I grabbed his face and mush him. That nigga slid the whole BT. Look, all the execs know me. Ray said, yeah, big homie, let's get up out of here. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> all right. He's about to Thought you see things, things my way. Yeah, oh, all right. Yeah, because I see these niggas get drunker and drunker and drunker. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, look, bro, I'm over here in my space. You come over here playing, you gonna get played with immediately. And then they go to playing victim. Everybody wanna tell me, wacky drunk. What that mean? Why do drunk motherfuckers that expect that that's sober that's motherfuckers? Why they get a pass? They don't get an excuse. Why do drunk no. motherfuckers expect no. sober motherfuckers to adjust to them? Unbelievable.
Yeah, nigga said you the weird hey, one. You the one inebriated. Yeah. I... What's oh, up, nigga? Me. Lady killer last night. Them niggas don't leave me the fuck alone. So I'm a, I'm a punish your ass like you just as sober as me. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't fuck with nobody. None of that shit. I, I, I don't, I don't dance. I don't nothing. I'm there to make sure we get our business done and we out. You come playing, I'm gonna give you one time. I'm gonna be gone, bro. And after that, nigga, that's what it is. And I always get. They always. Stop. Always, when the story come back, it's always my fault. They said, nigga, you, you, right right you, right right you didn't have to, hey, hey, but whack, you didn't have to whack do whack them like that. It's always the same shit, but why you didn't have to do them like that. Bullshit. Well, how I supposed to do it? Hold his hand. You were supposed to hold his hand and take him to the car and put him on and let him go. Yeah. Once I have determined that it's an issue. Or that I'm gonna get the job done. I'm not. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like I tell people, I'm like, look, bro, give us our area. That's it. Keep them niggas over there. Whoever with us, that's all we need with us. That's it. Niggas be motherfucker stumbled over there. Yeah, I just wanna come on. Hey, listen, bro, could you go over there? You look too close. What? What you say to me? Now I got a little birdie on my shoulder. I made the conscious decision. And to just hit you with the mush. You know what I'm saying? I'm, my mind is telling me to do some other shit. Could have broke his shit. I'm like, nah. Don't do that to them, man. Because all they're going to do is go sue you. That's it. That's all they're going to do. You know that's what they're looking for. So you know. What's the name said that? Oh, we looking to. Yeah, I'm but sue I'm you. tripping. I tell I don't people got like that much patience, <laughs> patience, and that much money. Nah, I just. But I tell, <laughs> but see, here go the thing though. The person asked me that question. Is your mentality that we're supposed to adjust to the drunk motherfucker? Like we supposed to just? Oh, he's drunk. Man, I done had niggas do some way shit. Talk out, say some crazy shit. All kind of shit. You know, and then he stumbles over there. He come back. Come back. And it's, uh... Only thing, so he come back with a couple, like, gay dudes or something. But, uh... No, Joe Exclusive was with him, so... Joe, like... Joe Grady, he got over there. And he, Joe, like... You, you talking about what? I've been dealing with Joe for, like, 20 years. He's like... I said, Joe, you better get that nigga, man. Because now when they come back, you know, the homies is there. You know, they like, you know, I said, Joe, it's going to get fucked up. He like, wag, let me get him up out of here. I said, yeah, get him up out of here, bro. I said, oh, Joe, I'll come outside. He like, nah. I said, oh, okay. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't fucking with you, but I'm not acting like, oh, they this and they that, and it's cool, nah. And I'm going to punish you like I'm going to punish your next nigga come over there playing with you. Just leave me alone. I ain't in there fucking with you, harassing you. That be the thing. Niggas feel like they can harass you. And then when you react, you the bad guy. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know. Help me out with that shit. How is that supposed to work? Uh, every call That's that, that, li that liquid courage. <laughs> Man, y'all tell me how y'all feel. Was Ray J and his crew wrong? Was WAC 100 in the wrong? Or were both situations and groups just having a miscommunication? I, I don't know, man. I'm just here to present the entertainment. Y'all tell me in the comment sections what y'all think about this whole thing. Look, this is DJ Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Go follow the 100 ENT room and, and the show at Clubhouse and YouTube, man. Look, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little bit tired. I've been doing videos all day. Y'all make sure y'all support this platform. Comment, share, and like. Man, I'm about to roll one up. You dig? I'm still on that brother polite pack <laughs> let's get this thing going with the fbg duck
outro. Let's go. Every DJ.